Toya mafungo ndiuri. What difference are you making? Bone ba kuita chanduko, ba kutisa chanduko de. What difference are you making? Chan, bone ba kutisa chanduko de. And we read from Mark chapter eleven. Mariko bara uva kama mariko ya bufuminti. From verse one to ten. Uya uva kandi matuku ya trauma uya kaya bufumi. I'm using the message translation. Gahi tarucheso yama. When they were nearing Jerusalem at Bethphage and Bethany on Mount Olives, he sent off two of the disciples with instructions. Bachi shika tini na Jerusalem ange mudinu wa Bethania. Ava ruma. Go to the village across from you. As soon as you enter, you will find a colt uh, tethered, one that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it. If anyone asks, what are you doing? Say, the master needs him and will return him right away. They went and found a cold tied to a door at the street corner and untied it. Baya mudana niba wana dongana yubo piwa henepo na danga chitrata ni baibo porora. Some of those standing there said, what are you doing untying the cord? Voi mao henepo ababa chibuzi saori ni kweita nini chikobo porora dongana iyo. The disciples replied exactly as Jesus had instructed them and the people let them alone. Bafunzu waba yeso ba pindura uyanga pindro ye yeso waba payo one. They brought the cult to Jesus. Spread their coats on it. And he mounted. The people gave him a wonderful welcome, some throwing their coats on the street. Watu baita kuwa kuru bachi azana ziambaro zabo pasi kana mingwenda yabo pasi. Others spreading out rushes they uh, spreading out rushes they had cut in the fields. Running ahead and following after, they were calling out. Hosanna, blessed is he who come in God's name. Blessed the coming kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in highest heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Today we are going to talk about what led Jesus to the cross. Although it was the will of God and the, in the plan of God from for, for our salvation. But it was because those who he came for uh, de denied him. When Jesus came he, he was sent first to the children of Israel to fulfill the prophecy that has been there for a long time. And they rejected Jesus. That's why John chapter 1 says that those he who came for rejected him. And then God had to go out to those who were not meant for this grace. That's why verse 12 says, And to those who receive him, to them he gave the authority to be children of God. Yes, you can 
Bone banga kona. Replace your name. Uita original abo li jenisu ebo. And to me. We can say to me and oh, make mention of our name. We receive him. Ne wenda to me, I was given power or authority to be his child. Ne child of God. Wa wa Hallelujah. Amen. You should remember that everything that happened before the crucifixion was the Jewish themselves going and complaining that he is calling himself God. And he is claiming to be the son of God. He will remember the whole process. Even the washing of hands by uh, Pontius Pilate and saying, eh, is it him? Mm. We say, I can't see any, I, I cannot see anything wrong that he did. And they shouted, let him be crucified. What led to the Jewish people saying that? These people were waiting this passage that we read. Hapa Mark chapter 11. Come Mariko 11. He is coming to the city. Yes, Jerusalem. And is being welcomed. Bako mutanganeza. This is the Messiah that the prophecies in Isaiah and Ezekiel and many other prophecies they spoke and about. Niene we a prophet wo yanga wa prophet abo tebe Isaiah na abo Ezekiel na bangwe banji. The Bible has prophets have spoken about Jesus that he will come and establish the kingdom. Wafi uto beja kosi. A great kingdom from the lineage of David. The lineage of Judah. There will be a king that come and overcome all the kings in the world. And when Jesus was born, he was just born an ordinary person. He grew up and he was raised like any other normal person. Hallelujah. Amen. At the age of 30 when he started his ministry. You will see what accompanies Jesus. Signs and wonders. Things that have never been seen before. Things that were confirmation that indeed he was the son of God. Things that could confirm that he's different from other people. Good things that confirm that he is God. Hallelujah. Amen. And the children of Israel were seeing all this. They had all the signs and wonders confirming that Jesus is the Son of God. And they believed that he is different from us. However, things were not getting into place according to their plans. Because they were waiting for the day that Jesus will enroll armies, people to army to people to come and join the army. So that he can train them to overthrow the Roman Empire and to free the children of Israel. They were waiting for Jesus to take over the kingdom of God. So that, so that the kingdom that has been prophesied about 
would be established through him. Hallelujah. Amen. They were waiting for that. And they had all the confirmation and think that this one is the one. And when he was entering this city, that's why they were, because they have already witnessed about 24 miracles that Jesus had done already at this time. And they were expecting and they welcomed him the way kings must be welcomed according to their, their culture this is mm. how they welcome Kings. They put leaves and, 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 and in other words, if it is today, we would say the red carpet is laid for the king. To welcome the king. Hallelujah. Amen. So the children of Israel is seeing Jesus asking for the donkey. Instead of him, they were expecting him to be coming with on a horseback. After having, after having conquered the Roman Empire, I just want to think that at the back of their mind they are still having this hope that maybe he's coming to introduce how is he going about to go and conquer this Roman Empire. And but Jesus never mentioned anything about fighting anyone. Because Jesus did not come for that. Instead of coming to train the army, he had come to reconcile people to God. Yes, come to establish the kingdom that cannot be built with men, women's hands. Hallelujah. Amen. And they could not comprehend that. As we speak today, they are still Jewish who are waiting for their own Messiah. You never know, even maybe the one who refused Gaza. The Messiah is coming to establish the kingdom of Israel. Even who knows, if even those who are still in Gaza, stubborn and refusing, perhaps they are waiting for their Messiah to still come. I don't want to get entangled in that because. We don't want to go to the politics of this uh, issue because the land they have been given by God. If we come to the whole truth, it means that no one belongs to what we call Israel today because they were immigrants from, from the nowadays taking. Abraham came from And God said, That is the land that I'm giving you. And your grandchildren. Hallelujah. Amen. So we don't want to get entangled with that. All we do is to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Because that is what Jerusalem says to us as children of God. But they are, there are people today are waiting for the Messiah who still believe that the kingdom is going to be established. Somewhere by, from the uh, lineage of Judah, the David uh, 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 kingship will be risen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Do you believe that there are Christians today who are still waiting for their Messiah as well? Watenda no ruche na ba trendi ba divita oba Christo na musiba chibu ba neba kadabu ni Messiah. Okay. If you don't believe what Jesus has done, what are you waiting for? Zino karali bo ne ba sa trendi zoe yeso aita ba chibu ni nera mi. You are waiting for your Messiah. Mo chibu ni nera wa bo Messiah. Who will come Messiah. at at your time? Ana to tanga chipinga chabo. Do things according to your plan. I tell to yanga plani yabo. According to your terms. Nanga ndira inebo neba funanga. That is the Messiah you are waiting for. Diene Messiah yabo neba mulinde. The one that is being preached now. Oh, you are not going to You cannot comprehend. Aba kono mu fesa esa. You cannot comprehend how he do things. Ah, na kushimele kwa waba kufi. Kuleng. What is your picture of Jesus? Bone ba chu umpulanga yeso chine pe chine wabando chip na chundi chipiundi mkua. What are your expectations of Jesus? And by the way, Jesus was not white. He is a grandchild of the Egyptians and the Palestinians. So he was not really white. And, the, and those pictures that you have of him every day. <laughs> Remember the, where he is coming from. Lineage, so it, it has got some mixed blood in it. And he is a Christian. Okay, so you can call him Kanamba, Stronga Mkalad or something like that. Hey. But, but whatever picture you have of him, it's not right. Yeah, during the current, during the Nepecha, which never have another church as was shown. The problem is that the spiritual picture that you have of him is also wrong. Because Jesus came to deliver you, to save you from your sin. But here you are, you are still struggling, you want to get clean and then come to Jesus. Who said that you are able to fix things? When God has sent a fixer to you and Hallelujah. Amen. Do not wait to fix things in your life. Come as you are. Jesus wants you as you are. Come and surrender your life to Jesus. And be the change that God has intended from the beginning. But and the Achiba Shandu Kisababa has also Aba Achikoto the waiter zone of Vamatomon. Because you are created to be the change from the beginning. Now Ribona was sick you are not chipiko chorbatiova mutro shandukao. You are created to make the change in this world. You come to Jesus. And ask him to fix you. Because on ourselves we have got no power to fix our lives. It took the death of Jesus. It took the resurrection of Jesus. To cleanse us. To reconcile us to God. To have the right standing with God. Hallelujah. Amen. What are you waiting for? You are not different. From these people that we that that have received Jesus here. They, is, they, they, they welcome him in their city. And they were shouting Hosanna to the one. Blessed is, blessed is the one who comes in the name of God. They were acknowledging they were declaring that this is the king and today I give this challenge to all of us here we are not different from those people if one we believe that there is a God 
But do not agree with his plan for salvation for our lives. If we believe that there is God, he created us. But we deny or uh, 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 the plan of salvation that there is no salvation except through Jesus. That there is no seeing heaven unless we come to Jesus and he cleans our sins. Sins. If we still believe that coming to church is enough, children of God, it is not enough to declare Jesus as the king, but not making him the king of your life. This world is full of people who declare that Jesus is the king. This city was full of people who were declaring that Jesus is king. But the problem was that they did not accept him as their king. What is the difference between you and the people of this city? Because you still believe that Jesus is king You declare it every time And you will see it when you carry your Bible and come to church That you are declaring that Jesus is king But the problem is that Jesus is not the king of your life He's not the one in control of your life. Hallelujah. Amen. What difference are you making? Between you and those who have gone to Moria. Between you and those who are attending conferences. What is the difference between you and them? Because they are all declaring Jesus is king. Hallelujah. Amen. You are not different from these people. If two, you are busy searching and looking for add-ons that which Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6 verse 32 that first seek the kingdom of God and all these other things will be given up to you you are not different from those. Because those people in that city of Bethphage, they were waiting for the establishment of worldly things. They acknowledge that Jesus is king. But they are busy seeking for their own things. And Jesus has brought another kingdom that is different from that that they were thinking. Yes, so And he said, first the kingdom. Let it be the foundation of your life. Let it be founded within your hearts. And the rest of the things that you need because God knows you need them will be added to you. And the Bible, other translations said, do not chase after the things that God has to add on. And it is because he thinks unbelievers 
Chase after those. What are we chasing after? That makes us different from those who declare Jesus as king. It is not me, it's the Bible. It is saying everyone who chase after the things and without the foundation of having salvation of being the child of God being born again he said it is the activity of the heathens and he said to us as for you Kingdom first. I've always given an example of, of how it is to, to chase things and, and only consider the kingdom after. It's just that you know it will look so abnormal and people will not think that a person is right. If you dig a trenches, and you throw in your concrete, and you put the roof tiles, then you put, you, you put on the, 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 the mortar and the, the the, the bricks. At the top there, you put a very thick slab. What do you think people will think of you? But that is how we walk every day. We are suppressing the world. We are suppressing even Jesus. As if we did not leave an instruction. The kingdom first. Let it be the foundation. Then God will bring all the stuff that needs to be on top of the foundation. Some of the, our prayers are not even answered. Because there is no foundation. On top of the, the, the concrete. The, the, on top of the roof tiles. The, the roof tiles. No, 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 because it's not right. Because How are the, our priorities in life? Do we, we worry about, about the kingdom? More than we worry about the add-ons. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's Leave the difference that God has called us to. By allowing the evidence of the truth of the word of God being visible in us and through us. You are making a difference. If the following evidence is visible in your life. One. One. You making Jesus king and lord of your life and not just going one day and say I surrender my life to you and then it's done 
Asima pungo soko guadama Tuvali tibari mura nandi kumezera Buchiro ba chipeza ba namba bo shaba He's accepting his sovereignty His kingdom in our lives And the lifestyle That is followed by that Zito to da ba chikumezera Buchiro habo hote pasi ya manda Muzimu because just going to Jesus and say I surrender to your kingdom only once you are just making yourself a fan of Jesus and being a fan of Jesus does not make you a follower of Jesus and neither are the following make you the follower of Jesus. Being born and raised in a Christian family. And being raised there. Uh, and being raised there. Occasionally reading the Bible and praying. That, that is being the fan of Jesus. But we are not the follower. Playing, gos playing gospel music. Oh, it's true. That is an example that there are many people who are fans of Jesus but not followers of Jesus. Hey, we have heard a lot of music, man. But they sing gospel. They, they put on gospel music. When people are drunk, they love gospel music. And if they start preaching, they will never finish. Even you as a Christian, you yes. will want to, to sneak out and go. Because they are just friends. They just know about God. They don't know God. Hallelujah. Amen. Making Jesus king will be seen in your life. The life that is fully surrendered to God. The life that gives evidence to those who are looking that this person has died. It's only Christ who is living There's no one who can do the things that he's doing. Unless there is Christ who is living inside of you. That is the evidence that those people who were looking at Jesus had. They said to Jesus No one can do these great things The great works that you are doing Unless they are sent of God What kind of difference are you making That will call people to stand and observe that Jesus is living inside this person. Hallelujah. Amen. The second thing about that you will be making a difference if this is evident in your life. If you are carrying your cross every day and following Jesus. Jesus said that if you love me yes, Deny yourself And carry your cross every day And follow me Some people will misinterpret this cross we don't get along with someone this is my cross to carry so one or you have got a problem that you see is difficult to solve 
You name it that this is my cross that I must carry. Let me tell you, child of God, it's far from the cross that I was talking about. <laughs> the cross that Jesus was talking <laughs> about. It takes a lot of sac your sacrifice <laughs> to do what Jesus did. Jesus sacrificed everything. <laughs> and that is the cross that Jesus is asking us to carry everything. <laughs> Jesus refused to live according to his will. Even when hey. it was so painful. And he said, not my will, but yours be done. That is the kind of cross that Jesus wants us to carry. To have those sacrifices. To refuse our will and allow the will of God to be done through us. That is, that is the cross that Jesus is talking about. The cross that Jesus is saying we should carry every day. He is talking about enduring hardships. That is suffering for the sake of Jesus. Even to the point of death. How many times do we suffer because of our own doing? But we still say, I is because I'm a Christian. When you have not even lived anything that looks like there is Christ in you. All your, in, your, 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 your bad decisions and bad choices. When they come back to roost, do not say it is because I'm a Christian I'm being persecuted. These, these are the hardships that I'm, I'm facing because of being a, a Christian. Jesus is talking about enduring hardships of being persecuted because you are proclaiming and you are leaving Christ as your king. When you cannot keep quiet when sin is happening and you say, Jesus is king. When you cannot even compromise your Christian faith because of anything that the devil brings in the latter. And worrying hardship is when you are they are denying you the opportunity for promotion because you are too strict with your faith in your faith. That is when worrying hardship. Hallelujah. Amen. Suffering for the sake of Jesus. And worrying hardship that come because you are holding on to faith. Hallelujah. Amen. The cross that Jesus said we must carry every day. We carry it and follow him. The, there are people who are carrying the cross, but they are not following him. There are people who are carrying the cross, and then when you get hardships because you are not following Jesus, you, you get frustrated. 
Hallelujah. Amen. The one that Jesus is saying carry and follow me every day. Is laying everything down for Jesus. You lay down your pride. You lay down your status. When it comes to saving God, it doesn't matter whether you are a doctor or a cleaner. You need to lay down your status. That is laying down your culture as well. Now, there are people who are held back by their culture. Hey, they, they observe them so much. These culture have been passed from generation to generation. But don't they will tell you that when you were small we did this to you as well stop acting like you know it all and you are better bring the change that God has called you for break down that culture lay down your culture for the sake of the cross of Jesus Hallelujah. Amen. Because in him there is neither Jew, nor Greek, nor male nor female. Hallelujah. Amen. There's only one culture. That is Jesus is the king of our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. All these other things laid down. Laid down your habits. There are so many habits that are ungodly. That do not build you, that do not draw you closer to God. Carrying your cross will be laying down those things. Lay down everything for the sake of Jesus. Lay down your identity so that you can identify with Jesus. Let your identity be swallowed by that of Jesus. A lot of times God cannot use us because we refuse with our identity. We want our identity to remain with us. Yeah. <laughs> People rem want to remain with their with their no, identity. No, 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 our identity only can be found in Jesus. You know, um, I am a child of God as a born again child. I am a child of God before I am Mushabi. Before I am a female. Before I am what I am at home. Before I am what I am at the workplace. That is my identity. A child of God. Let that be an identity that defines who we are. That is the cross that we need to carry every day. Anything 
that supports and promotes the identity of Jesus in us. Hallelujah. Amen. There are some people who really try, you know. But trying on your own will never work. But also, I've seen people wanting God to do things that they are supposed to do. And they're trying on and we are supposed to do something. God has given us the responsibility to do something. something. God sent his only begotten son Jesus Christ. He cannot come and push us and, and stand for us and say come. I'm standing here on behalf of uh, Sophia. Uh, so that uh, I, I can accept, I can, she can accept Jesus as their savior. Nuria, unoria so angai mari nendo imeram gede gede uri hoyu mutu atanga neze Jesus amchizwa. You need to step up and receive Jesus. Bone bone gaya bomire nje bato yo ima ba buranga wa bomuro mo bachitenda kaya bombiru. And carrying the cross is the commitment that you do daily. Uwara chipamba nondo duku mezera unemu tendi atyo ita duba lingwe na lingwe. Because carrying the, the, the accepting Jesus will not kill the flesh. Gauri utanga neze. Flesh will be flesh, and it, that's why it, when we die, it goes down here. The Bible says that we will be given new, 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 new bodies. Because Carrying the cross means that you will fight against this very flesh. Every day the flesh is talking. Oh, so do you think you are the only one who is seeing that? that is we all see those things. And we are all susceptible to temptations. We tell this flesh. Like we tell our soul. Do not misbehave. I'm not going to hell because of you. I am the image of Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Everything that you see and you feel, everyone else has that. Starting from here, we just refuse to listen to what the flesh says. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are still waiting for that promotion, if you are still for God to avenge those enemies, you are, you are still far away from carrying the, the cross of Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. The third thing Jaburaru. that should be visible when you are making that change is obeying the laws of the Lord. Walk on them and neither turn to the left or to the right. We are required to use the, the what do we call this water level. Christian work that is zigzag and all these other shapes. In other words, you are not Christians when it suits you. And when we face hardships, we, we tell them, I'll show you who you are. We tell them, you are pushing me, to the, you have pushed me to the 
You don't want to see that side. Anizo dumbona nga pongo nda 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 kuatandi anuka. That is not a straight line. Ah, yeah, apo una water pass ya. Sometimes you are red. Bako apa mapeta. Sometimes you are red, sometimes green, sometimes orange. Duru chuko bato nga roboto. Ba ita ba chitsuka ba chidarapara ba chibana ba chibana emba. And people have to say, hey. Uh, before people approach you, they ask, they consult. Which side of the bed do you think is where they The Bible says we must neither turn to the left or nor turn to the right. But walk straight. Hallelujah. Amen. The problem that we have as human beings is because we measure ourselves with, with one another. Which Paul hey. said to the Corinthians, don't measure yourself with each other. Let's our measurement be Jesus. Because we need to grow to the stature of Jesus Christ. Don't feel better because you are doing better than your neighbor. Feel sorry that you are doing far away from what Jesus is doing. Is doing. Yes, hallelujah. Amen. Jesus was obedient to the will of God until death. Do we hold on to the Christian walk? Even when things are not going well. When our prayer seems not to be not answered. And when God says no. Do we still hold on to faith? Even when God is quiet. And, 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 and or you say eh, 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 eh. What, what did the dress say? Silent means? Yes. Consent. Amen. Do you hold on to faith? Obedience means leading, following the leading of Jesus. Following the word of Jesus. Even when it does not make sense. And even when you do not understand where this is leading you. That is obedience. This other obedience. This person is so humble, ah, so obedient. Ah, <laughs> That is not obedience. Obedience is following Christ. Christo Obedience is following the word of God. Applying it in our lives every day. Whether it makes sense or no sense at all. Whether we know where it's leading us and where we've got no clue. Hallelujah. Amen. And that means refusing instructions coming from any other source except the word of God. Psalm 1 says, Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the sinners. Where do you get your counsel from? What are you, what, 
What do you base your counsel on? Who is counseling you in your life? Who is your advisor? There are those who take the counsel more than the word. Hallelujah. Amen. And they say, They will tell you that you must remember that you are a human being just as we are. You are not an angel. Obeying the word means refusing to live according to the dictates of the flesh. I've already spoken about it. If you are still being pulled here and there and say, don't it tempt us to a nama. And then you say, I'm just a human being, I have got flesh, what can I do? I will repent, God understands my circumstance. There's no other name, you are just disobedient. Yes, and the problem is that there's no place for those who are disobedient in heaven. And that's where you find Being obedient means making choices that are inspired by the Holy Spirit. Choices that are aligned mm. to the will of God for your life. Remember that the plans of God are never to harm you. But to prosper you. That is what the Bible says in Jeremiah 29 verse 11 to 13. So when you are obedient to the word of to, to, to God, to his laws, to his commandments, you don't make choices that are inspired by any other thing except the Holy Spirit. The, because those are the, the kind of plans or choices that align to the will of God for your life. This Jeremiah through the message reads as follows. After 13 it reads as follows. I know what I'm doing. That is God saying. So even when you are in the middle of nowhere, you don't know where the plan of God are taking you, where the will of God is taking you, and you don't understand, God is saying, I know what I'm doing. I have it all planned out. Plans to take care of you. Not to abandon you. Plans to give you the future you hope for. You might, God might be leading you the way that you think your future is not leading you to your future because your future is that side. Zino, ubone bangaba bachifana bana ba Israel, bachi bonga bu machero abobunga apamara mzimba kuba isange. Allow God to lead you. Because God knows what he's doing. Verse 12 says, when you call on me, when you come and pray to me, I will listen. Verse 13, when you come looking for me, you will find me. Yes. Yes. When you get serious about finding me, Musi not the imisera unguana, and want it more than anything else. Nichi tonto da chote upirisa zote. Hallelujah. Yeah, nika zote sato muana radu shikapan. When we seek, God does not want us to to do this. 
We seek him with this hand. But we know if he doesn't respond quick enough, I'll go do this. God does not want us to come to him with plan B. God must always be our plan A and there's no other plan. Hallelujah. Amen. When people look at you, what difference do they see in you? What difference are you making on your day-to-day -day life? What you set you apart from the rest. Child of God, make a difference. Be intentional in making Jesus king of your life. Do not just declare him without making him king of your life. Carry your cross every day and follow Jesus. Make sure that whatever you are carrying is your cross. Make sure that you are following Jesus. Not other alternatives that are along the way. What what difference are you making? What is the difference between you and everyone who declares that Jesus is king? What is the difference between us here in Pretoria today sitting here and these people in Bethphage? Let us stand on our feet and pray. Father, we want to thank you for this special Sunday. We want to thank you for this special word that you have spoken to us this morning. That indeed we need to bring a difference to the society we live in, to the local assembly we belong to, to the country and the nation we live in, to the generations we are given the grace for. We pray by the name of Jesus Jesus, that Lord Jesus. help us we as of today Lord. as we have made we a conscious decision Lord. to die to self Thank you, and Jesus. to live in Christ Kura for us to live is Christ and to die is gain Kura Father we pray